What's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood rabies infested carrot, rabbit carrot, back here with a Madden video this time, guys. I'm going against Blake the Bomb. You can see his name up in the right hand corner. And this is one of those games that you play against your friend. And there's kind of some smack talk beforehand, right? We're both using our Madden Ultimate teams. And there's a little bit of smack talk. I'm I'm sporting the Ravens, those white Ravens jerseys, because I've been a Ravens fan for over 10 years. And Blake's here, the big Deshaun Watson guy, so you know he's wearing those Texans uniforms. It all makes sense. I started the game out. It's pretty rough, guys, I'll be honest. Get that, get sacked, but get potentially a huge play, and my dude drops the ball. Blake comes out. And I'm kind of feeling like it's it's the same thing for him. Maybe this is going to be a defensive battle. His man gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And then this happens, guys. One of the best tight ends in the game, Tony Gonzalez, gets a little short five-yard route right there and takes it about 40 yards on me with a little juke at the end. You know he had to add a little little something-something there at the end. Acts like he's not even been retired. Now guys, you'll notice that we've got Dak Prescott versus Dak Prescott. Again, it's our ultimate teams. They're pretty crummy teams. Whoop! He throws the Dallas Clark for the first score of the game. Even though they're crummy teams, we still got some legends, right? We still got Dallas Clark in there. Gets a little, gets a little juke move. Breaks my dude's ankles, runs in for the touchdown. And I'm right back trying to see if I can match it. Taking the same kind of route to Tony Gonzalez. Taking it 30 yards myself for that first down. Now we are running about the same team. Got Dak, we both got Tony. We've got a couple of the other guys that are the same. I mean, we've got a, a basically like level 70 teams. So I know you're impressed. I know most of you guys got like 98 squads running. We both got about 70, 69, 70. We got LT running up there, giving me about a 15 yard gain, and I'm feeling good until my favorite player of all time, literally, it doesn't matter, any Madden in real life, it doesn't matter, Ray Lewis, my favorite player, going against me, he's wearing the wrong jersey this time, and I was an idiot and threw it right to him, right into his paws. So he takes it, that takes my chance away to tie the game up, to feel good about myself, to feel good about my team and my chances. And Dak Prescott comes leading the Texans, trying to do his best Deshaun Watson impression, but gets sacked. Dak goes down. I'm feeling like, okay, maybe I can actually do this. And then he really looks a little bit like Deshaun Watson on this next play. Fakes the handoff, tosses it up to DeAndre Hopkins. Who else would you toss it to on the Texans squad? That's one of Blake's captains on this team. And DeAndre takes it down. That was probably like a 40-yard gain. And the, the tears are beginning to roll, folks. Especially when this happens. When he bobbles, go back and replay that. When he bobbles the catch for a touchdown. Good night. At this point, it's again, it's one of those times where there's been smack talk happening before. You're down two touchdowns already. Just a little bit to go in the second quarter this dude tries fakes he does fake punts he does fake field goals Blake's told me afterwards that he likes to mix it up I mean he's doing all these things he actually got a really good gain on me my morale the team's morale is kind of shot guys if I'm being honest I didn't think that I could do a whole lot against Blake it's one of those times where you're like man should I have just waited should I have built my team up upgraded a few more guys but I've got a chance here with two minutes to go in the first half to try to do something big, and we did. We got a huge play from Dallas Clark down to the nine yard line. I'm feeling good, but maybe not too good. I've been down here before, and Ray Lewis picked it off, but there's always hope. There's always hope. Get off, get off me, he said. His arm was wrapped around that defender. Coming back, we are in the red zone. We got Dak Prescott, and you know Dak Prescott, he can run. Maybe not when he's like a 70 Dak like this guy was, but he still has some wheels, so he gets down to the three-yard line. Once again, guys, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm thinking, okay, if I can get this before half, I know he's going to get the ball back because I got the open kickoff. But if I can get a touchdown before half, we are right back in it. And sure enough, here comes LT right up the middle, takes it, dips to the right a little bit, and pushes his way through for the touchdown. 
Now, you know we're feeling good, but somehow, Blake got it all the way down before halftime. Got it down to field goal range, and here's where he does another fake field goal. Again, he likes to mix it up. Maybe he wasn't confident in a, in a low-ranked, low-level kicker. I don't know what it was, but, but we were able to tackle him, stop the field goal from going through, and kept us in a one-score game. Now, here we come out, and we get some picks of our own. Guys, if I'm being honest, I think each of our teams had about four or five interceptions uh, just from various guys in the secondary, uh, and, and obviously that Ray Lewis pick earlier. So we start out the second half. We got we got that pick, pretty big interception. A little bit later, man, I'm struggling. I just can't find anybody that I see that's open. I think my eyes are getting old, but I love this play. This has been one of my go-to's. And Dak, of course, has to throw the man, throw right over the man's head. Unbelievable. So I think I went right back to that play. Maybe we, we switch sides here. It's 4th and 16. We're in his territory. There's no way we're going to punt, right? So we go right back to it. We're going to try it again, see if we can't get a big play out of it. This vertical this vertical's play action play is always, always big. And Dag just doesn't see it. Nothing's happening. Poorly timed throw right there with LT. And guys, if I was feeling the crunch before, I'm feeling it more right now. A little bit worried if they start driving, but we get the pick. Killabrew again, that's the second pick. I've showed you guys even brought brought an achievement my way. Got a couple points towards my my achievements. You know, you know you're feeling good when you get that. And then of course more of the same. I mean, I don't, this, this was a pretty frustrating game if I'm being honest. We gotta run it back though. Time is running out. It's almost the fourth quarter. We've only got so many chances. Feeling good about my defense at this point, but Blake is feeling better about his as he gets back to back sacks. So I believe we punted it away there. Fourth and 23 was too much for me to stomach. And Blake, he tries this fake punt. And look at his dude, rumbling, bumbling. I, w I could have sworn I was gonna put money on the fact that he was just gonna break out of that and run for the first down. Thankfully, he didn't. We stopped him. Later on in the fourth, though, Blake ended up getting right down into dangerous territory. And this is when I knew he had this game on lockdown. This is when I knew that things were, were not going to go my way on this day. But he plays nice. Blake plays nice. He, he gets there to first and goal. He kneels it. Confusingly, he ran it on second. I was like, okay, what's happening? Am I really going to get a chance? He he does the no huddle offense and takes it back to the line and tries it again for the third on the third down. And my guy runs runs past the offensive line and slams that dude's knees. Now here's a field goal attempt. We've seen it before. We've seen the fake punts, the fake field goals. Blake does it again right here. He does it for. He's trying to pass the ball, but nobody is even open to see their button. And I'm thinking, could it be? Now, I wasn't paying attention on this first first try right here, guys. Obviously, he's in, like, block the field goal formation, and I completely missed it. But for some reason, Blake said he likes to mix it up. He likes to give people a chance. He calls a timeout with one second left. I knew that I had this dude open. Again, it's a low-level Julio Jones right here. So this guy is going to get caught. He's going to get caught. Or is he? He completely jukes. The tackler whiffs. And I get a huge touchdown here, guys. Now, the thing is, we need two points, okay, to be able to tie it up, make it 14-14. We need the two-point conversion right here. So let's check it out. Let's see if we get it. Can't remember if I teased it earlier, but a big, big comeback does happen right here, boys. Dak Prescott, he's looking for that open tight end right here. Boom! Works every time. You guys know that look. And somehow, some way, I actually won the coin toss. Nothing else was going my way this entire game, but I won the coin toss. Get a little LT movement right here. Get a little user truck at the end. Dak is feeling fired up. He's got the guns out. And here we go, looking at that screen with everybody going vert, runs it up. Oh, we get the blocks that we need. We just have one man to beat, and we get a touchdown at the end of this thing to seal the deal in overtime, guys. An incredible comeback. For some reason, Blake let me hang around. He let me just do what I wanted to do at the very end of the game. He even rushed everybody doing the field goal block, trying to mess with me. 
but your boy rabbit carrot gets the win if you guys want to see more videos like this just leave a like leave a comment tell me what you want to see next until next time eat your carrots everybody